When women fight for a higher salary, they can often feel guilty. When men fight for more pay, they feel empowered. I have always wanted to encourage women to go after the money they deserve. This powerful statement is given by a very famous American entrepreneur, one who is becoming an inspiration for all the women across the globe, founder and CEO of one of the most successful women-led social platforms in the world, Bumble. a famous and successful billionaire Whitney Wolford let's take a quick look at the success story of one of the prominent and successful women in the world a woman of power empowers other women one of such women is Whitney Wolford an american entrepreneur who has recently joined Forbes list of the super rich she is only 31 years old and is now the world's youngest self-made female billionaire after taking bumble public in february 2021 her current net worth is 130 crore dollars she rang the nasdaq bell with the 18 month old boy son on her hip in her speech whitney expressed that she wanted to make the internet a kinder more accountable place serving women and led by women has made its 31 year old female founder a billionaire Whitney's rise to membership in the billionaires club has been a fascinating one before starting with Bumble she was one of the members of the founding team at Tinder but after tensions with other executives one of whom she had been dating she left some time later Whitney registered a sexual harassment case The parent company of Tinder, Match Group Incorporation, denied the claims but paid around 1 million dollars to settle the dispute. As a result of the case, she experienced a lot of online abuse, leading her to delete her Twitter account because of the hate she faced. But Whitney's didn't stop. She had dreams which she wanted to turn into reality. She used her personal experience to build her application, Bumble. Bumble is all about putting women in control and giving women a lead in the dating world. Bumble is different from other dating apps as it centers around women as only they can make the first move. Whitney once said, "The importance of women making the first move is not exclusive to the world of dating, romance, or love. The main and significant focus of her application is that only women can initiate a conversation in heterosexual matches." It sounds like a simple idea but it is actually not. It is a perfect platform for those who have been bombarded with unwanted and unsolicited messages from men in the past. Whitney founded Bumble with the assistance of an early investor, Russian billionaire and founder of Badu, Andrey Andreev. Badu is a social network that allows you to match and find a partner. In November 2019, Andre sold his entire stake in Magic Lab, a company that is owned both Bumble and Badu. Today, Hurd owns an 11.6% stake in Bumble, resulting in an estimated net worth of 1.3 billion dollars. She also heads Badu, which is owned by Bumble now. Badu and Bumble have a combined 40 million users and 2.4 million of whom pay for a subscription. Bumble could generate 376 million dollars of revenue in the first 9 months of 2020. In the same period in 2019 it brought in revenue of 362 million dollars and calculated a net profit of 68 million dollars. A woman's success is always doubted and questioned. People try to connect her worth with her past experiences. She was also disturbed by the way her story was being told. The media and everyone around was more focused on her past experiences years ago as a co-founder at the dating app Tinder, where she was allegedly harassed by an executive. He was also her boyfriend, got dumped and expelled from the company and went on to sue for sexual harassment. 
In her allegations, she made it clear that her former boss and also her boyfriend Justin Mateen had threatened to strip her of her title of being the co-founder of Tinder because of their personal disputes. But the history of toxic relationships and her utter dedication to do something eventually led to the creation of the first female dating app Bumble in 2014. There are about 559 companies that have gone public in US over the past 12 months. Only 2 aside from Bumble were founded by women. These numbers clearly indicate that women are largely being left behind in what's likely the fastest wealth creation boom in the history. The team of Bumble and investors described this growth as a huge win. They believe that Whitney saw an opportunity that wasn't being addressed for women and with an expertise she has made this into a gold mine not just for her and her team for her investors as well. Whitney's experience formative. She initially wanted to start with a female only social network for women to send each other some compliments but ended up focusing on matchmaking on the advice of Russian tech billionaire Andrey Andreev which clearly worked out for her betterment. Whitney's success is undoubtedly helping further the case for investing in business that cater to a female audience or that are founded by women. Her journey of building an impactful brand out of her vision of making women's voices heard is all a result of her dedication and growing stronger with her past experiences. That's all for today. Let us know if you found the success story of Whitney Wolf inspirational. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like this video.